Hello everyone, and welcome back to uh, The Walking Dead, um, se- season, season two, episode, season two, it's, yeah, it's episode three, season two, we did some stuff last time, um, this is the first one, this is the second one, I was in the minority about this, I don't even remember what I did, but it will give us a, a, a thingy, like a, yeah, a recap, I wasn't actually planning on recording this right now, I was planning on recording something else, which I won't spoil, but, Considering Dick's story didn't want to play ball, I'm just going to record this, and it's going to go on for quite some time. It's already quarter to one in the morning, and I'm pretty tired. So we'll see. If it affects my decision making, um, then you know it'll play out better. I think. Um, we're in harm's way, apparently, amid the ruins. That looks a bit ominous. And then no going back. So I mean, I pretty much know how this is going to end because. Uh, it's a zombie apocalypse game, there's only two ways it'll end. Everyone will die, or they'll go and live on an island somewhere. So, let's just do it. Yeah? Okay, cool. It should be fun. It should be interesting. God, I hate this silence, it's so deadpan. I'm drinking lemonade. It's the beverage of choice tonight. It's gone a bit frozen on us. Previously on The Walking Dead. Who do you think did this? Think about it. You're Carver, what do you do? What's the most important thing in this world? Clem, it's family. People like Matthew aren't coming back. <laughs> Rebecca, our baby deserves to be raised in a place of safety. Ah! Go to hell, you f- We're going home. As a family. I'm just trying to remember who did the voice of Lee Everett. Because it's fucking annoying the shit out of me. I know him. I know who he is. I can't remember. I'm playing this in windowed mode and it's really small because I've got a widescreen monitor. There's a, there's a butterfly. Is that a butterfly? Is it a moth? That's a bit. I mean, why are you staring at it? Oh, oh, tree. That's that's a tree. That's a whole tree. That tiny little thing. Inspecting. Oh, by tree. Maybe his you name was tree. Yeah, no. One second. I'm inspecting the trees. It's scary out here. I know they made you. It's nice that you came. We're safer if we stick together. It's gonna be dark soon. Yeah. What is going on? But it's cool you came. I thought they were gonna tell my dad to go with me. Thanks. You're welcome. You're not welcome. Land trek. <laughs> wow. Everything come out all right, girls. Troy, get them tied up. We'll do. Troy. Well, we're on our way. Probably 30 minutes out. Make sure everyone's prepped. Emotions might be running high. Carver out. If I find out you've been wasting fuel to keep that fucking heater going, I'll make you walk back. Nope. Froze my ass off. Just like you told me to. It ain't polite to listen to other folks' conversations. Has anyone ever taught you that? Keep staring. That's it. I'm like the girl from that horror film. I kill people with my mind. No, stop! Don't Ow. hit my friend! <laughs> okay. You know test me, girl. I'll pass every time. I thought you were like my friend. Leave her alone. Tie her up and throw her in with the rest of them. It's all right. I'm a tank. Look at me. Bonnie Clyde, or whatever your name was. I had nicknames for everyone, didn't I? I needed one for this Troy guy. Helen of Troy. Helen. Oh wow. Damn. This is the most this is just so antisocial. It's worse than I am. Are you guys okay? So oh, look, let us kind of hey, watch the butterflies. Hey! Hey! Let us go out and watch the butterflies and all of a sudden. Shoot well, threatening to shoot, slapping. It's terrible. 
All a bunch of pricks. This is going to be a really long one. Oh. Going to keep me up all night. To be honest, I'm not really uh, thrilled about this. About playing this. Usually, like for the first season, I was like, yes, a new episode, I get to play it. Now it's sort of like, yeah, I'll play it, but, you know. Swings around it, I'm not really too fussed. Or do you want me to keep breaking up the silence? Christ. Alright, we gotta do something. Come on. Anyone got anything sharp? Anything? We need to get these bindings off. Hey, Clem, help me find something to get these off. Anything sharp that could cut these. That guy's oh, face has been do. fucked up. What the hell is wrong with you people? We gotta get out of here. Like what? What do you mean, like what? Something sharp. Anything that can help. A, a fucking. I don't know. Anything! We're in a fucking precarious position here. We gotta do something about Settle that. Settle down, Kenny. They took everything. We have to keep a level head. He's right. You don't know Bill like we do. Bill? This whole time it's Carver, Carver, Carver. Now he's fucking Bill? <laughs> oh, I see what it is. Y'all are just getting a ride home, aren't you? That's what's going on here. Say that again. I'd stay out of this, boy. Mister, I ain't a boy. No, right. You're a man. You don't understand. He's different. It's worse. The fuck are you talking about? He wants to punish us. You could have warned us. Yeah, you didn't tell us he was a fucking psychopath. I'm on Kenny's side. I have no idea what you're dealing with. Oh, he gave me a pretty good goddamn idea back at the lodge. And I don't intend to sit around here and let that happen to the rest of us. I'm trying to help. I'm sure Walter really appreciated your help. That's not fair. You're blaming him for the actions of a madman. I am pointing out that regardless of intent, there are consequences to rash actions. Something that he seems to be misreading as capitulation. I don't know what the fuck you're saying, but I know it's bullshit. We have to do something. Kenny, you can't reason with it. Oh shit. Jackpot. Sit down. You're going to get us all killed. I'm fine what with that. Talking about. We get cooped up in some kennel like a bunch of fucking dogs. It's over. You don't know that. Yeah? Well, I've been in this situation before. You ever been a prisoner? Kenny's right. We have to do something. We can't just sit here. How is it the kid is the only one that sees what's going on here? Clem, the adults are talking. Is that what this is? All right. Now we're talking. Carver will be on the other side of that door with ten people. <laughs> Jump out the back. It's okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Probably going that this fast. We're on a country road. The only hope we have. If he was gonna do something, he'd have done it by now. Who knows what he's dealing with? Anything can happen out there. I'll tell you what happened. He abandoned us. You don't know that. I know he ain't here. He may not be. I'm just gonna keep sight of a Kenny. Fuck it. Kenny's probably right. He would have helped us by now if he was going to. You don't know what he's been going through since we left the lodge. None of us do. We don't even know if he's still alive or that he knows where we went. Right. All we do know is that he ain't helped us. So long as I don't see that this person will remember that sign, I think I'm okay. Okay, let's do this. They have guns. What exactly do you expect to do? I'm gonna punch the first son of a bitch I see. Then I'm gonna take his gun and use it to shoot the next son of a bitch I see. Just sit down. Shut up, Doc. This ain't your call. <laughs> this could be really bad. Just, if something happens, just help out, okay? Don't, you know, get yourself hurt or nothing, but any help would be good. This could be really, really terrible. <laughs> like, we could all die. Kenny, please, just... Yeah, okay. I trust you. I'll... I'll do what I can. Alright. I like how you haven't taken anyone else's bindings off. gotta do this. Alright. Kenny! Oh. Kenny, are you okay? Is he okay? Good effort. I think so. Oh, what hit me? It's probably for the best. Good effort, Kenny. Ten out of ten. I'd give you a cookie. If you were real. Now, who the fuck did Lee Everett's fucking voice? Goddamn brakes ain't working for shit. Alright, up and at him. The fuck? How'd you get your restraints off? Come here. We've got 
Take his gun. No. I think I've got an idea. Now, it might not come all at once, but time will heal these wounds. So be patient with them until it does. And take solace in knowing that they're here to help us make our home a better place. All these feelings you have of anger, betrayal, hate, they're all valid. No one needs to forget what they did. But we do have to find it in our hearts to forgive them. Look how much food they have. Oh, I hope you ain't saying what I think you're saying. As many of you already know, a large herd of lurkers gathers just south of us. Come on, we need you for something. Can I wait until morning? We're all exhausted. Just come the fuck on. Troy, you're a dick. I need him. I need my dad. I, I can't. He's... He looks after me. They have been taken into consideration. However, this is not up for debate. Grow up. I'm sorry. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know you're scared. I'm not. I thought we'd never come back here. My dad said we wouldn't. I wish I could talk to him. I'm really not well, sorry. Thanks, Clem. Because Clementine's a better liar than I am. I have no doubt that we will continue. Make sure y'all stay off the fans. Bill can see if you're messing with it. Has he been talking this the whole fucking time? I haven't been listening. Fucking Christ. Thanks, Bonnie. Oh my god, it is actually Bonnie. I didn't even realise. Maybe I just didn't remember. Oh my god, it's Russian roulette. Y'all best get some rest. Because there ain't gonna be much for you tomorrow. You're gonna be working hard. That's for you. Yeah, it would be. Fucking Bill. Keeps me out in the cold. But at least I'll be comfortable. Hey guys. Reggie. <gasps> Reggie. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. GTA 3. What did they do to you? This could have been worse. Trust me. I'm lucky to be alive. It's my fault. No, it's really not. I would tell you if it was. This happened well after you guys left. I guess I should. Say Reggie helped to us. You, but... What happened to his arm? Did he cut it off because he got bit? I don't know. We were all running out together, but then he fell, and everybody kept running. I know he had both his arms then. They got me working outside. Lurker snuck up on me while I was hammering something. Luckily, they took the arm off quick. Saved my life. <laughs> awful. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Uh, Look, it was my choice um. to help you guys. Alvin, Carver wants you in his office. What? Why? Don't make this difficult. It's too late for that. No, please. It's okay, Beck. Just get some rest. If he wanted to do something to me, he'd have done it already. I'll be fine. Let's see what he wants. Right, so... Eli's about to die. That hey, guy's Reggie. been bit. Oh, Reggie hey, is gonna die. Go fucking up now. Bill's real close to letting you out of here. You make sure things stay nice and quiet out here tonight, and I'll be sure to let Bill know just how helpful you were. Yeah, you can count on me. Thanks, Troy. Don't mention it. Right. Let's start breaking out. Oh, right. Let me introduce you. We were with them when we got caught. Hey, I'm Reggie. That's Sarita. Hello. And that's Kenny. Hey, yeah. Hello, who are you? Um, freaks you out. It's okay. Freaks me out too sometimes. My name's Clementine. I was hoping it'd be like a false name. But no. Hey, He's gonna turn to a zombie anyway. Bill's already got him looking at some folks. Oh, okay. Good. What about Pete? Can you guys save it for the morning? Wait a minute. Gotta be up early. Wait Who's a minute. That? I don't know. I don't recognize the voice. No problem. Sorry about that. Okay, that's Mike. He's kind of a dick when he's tired, but like I said, he saved my life, so I put up with that shit. 
Phil put him to work outside the wall with me. I'm so sorry. Stop with all the sorry. It was my choice. Besides, he said once you were all caught, he'd let me rejoin the group, so I'm glad you're here. I'm just joking. I know. I mean, he did say that, but I'm not happy about it. Who's she? Hmm? Who? The girl over there? All these new people. Oh, yeah, right. Okay, so she's fucking weird. They found her sneaking around outside the camp covered in guts and just like the grossest shit. It's probably best not to stay. I know how it must look, but it's really not that bad here. Reggie. No, I'm serious. Where else are you going to find food like we have? We've got the canned stuff, and now with the greenhouses coming along, we've got fresh food. The building's getting more and more secure all the time, mostly through forced labor, but that's only temporary. They've even got the solar panels working. When was the last time you had electricity, huh? Well, we just came from a lodge with a wind turbine. It's not a competition. I'm just saying, it's not as bad as you think. We're building something great here, guys. A real community. Bill is making it happen. Look, I've made mistakes, and he's forgiven me. Tava killed my friend. This feels like a prison. Are you serious? That, but I'm starting to see Are you serious? Offers. I didn't before, and with the accident, it's just that much more important now. Are you serious? You're joking, right? Listen, I'm really close to getting let back into the group. Once that happens, I can do a lot more to help you guys be more comfortable. Comfortable? What do you think this is? I just don't want you to mess things up for me. I've worked really hard to get to this point. Will you please just try not to cause any trouble? Nope. At least until they release me. Then, once I'm out, I could help you more. Maybe even help get you out. No way. Fucking A no way. <laughs> We can at least talk about it more in the morning. Just have a quiet Fucking night. Fucking A, no way. Chat again tomorrow. I can't believe what I'm hearing. Look, the fact is, Bill had every reason to kill me when I helped you guys, but he didn't. Obviously, I don't know what happened while you were all gone, but he's given me a second chance, and I know he'd do the same for you. Reggie, I don't want a second chance. I want to leave with my family. That's it. Your family is safer here. I need to sit down. Yeah, come on. Sarah, can you go see if there's something for her to drink? Okay. Yeah, there's water over by the benches. Ah, oh, that didn't go as planned. Should have actually made a plan. Right. Man, He's gonna turn to a zombie. Guy. I don't care. He I seems perfectly normal. Trust him. But still. I mean, clearly he's already drank too much of the Kool-Aid. I don't trust him either. He acts strange. Yeah. Guess getting part of your body chopped off can do that to a fella. You gotta take a look around. I don't even care what I'm saying at this point. I know if there's anything we can exploit to get out of here. We're in a tight spot. Gonna have to wriggle our way out. Sure, I'll have a look around. That Troy asshole's gone for now. This is our chance. Don't worry about Reggie. I'll go help run interference on him. I wanna talk to that guy, Mike. He seems like another person I can relate to another person in a video game and Walker say it's a cameo. Up. 